Let's say you have to calculate the sides of unsaturation for compound C5H10O. Then how will you calculate sides of unsaturation? The sides of unsaturation can be calculated by formula C into 2 plus 2 minus H divided by 2 where this C stands for number of carbon atom and H stands for number of hydrogen atoms. So in this compound there are you can see 5 carbon atom at, and there are 10 hydrogen atom. So we will replace these numbers Five carbon atom and 10 hydrogen atom so this will come 10 plus 2 minus 10 divided by 2 which is equal to 1 so sides of unsaturation in this particular compound is 1 so in this way we have calculated sides of unsaturation but what if instead of this oxygen we have given some halogens or we have given nitrogen so how we are going to calculate the sides of unsaturation uh, so let's discuss that too also in this video uh, let's say you have given a formula c3 uh, h4 br f and we have to calculate sites of unsaturation how will you calculate sites of unsaturation for this particular compound so whenever we have given such type of compound then consider every halogen atom as hydrogen atom so there are bromine and fluorine as halogens so, uh, so there are two hydrogen atom if you consider one halogen is equal to one hydrogen okay so instead of this br and f we can write we can write newly uh, as per our uh, hypothesis h h so this all h will come together as c3 h6 right you are getting my point so how are you going to calculate it instead of c3 h4 br f for this particular compound we should consider this compound as c3 h6 as there are two halogen atom and instead of two halogen atoms we have considered those as hydrogen atom and we will use our normal formula c into 2 plus 2 minus h divided by 2 so we will replace the value of c and value of h in this compound so what was value of c there are three carbon atom and how many hydrogen atom are there six hydrogen atom are there so three into two six six plus two eight minus six divided by two so there it is it will be one so sites of unsaturation for this particular compound is one let's move ahead uh, what if if you have given the compound like c5 h5 n so whenever instead of along with hydrogen if you have given some compound where there is a nitrogen atom then you should subtract number of hydrogen atom from that particular compound so here there is nitrogen so i will deduct one hydrogen atom out of that so it will be c5 h4 remember whenever there is a nitrogen atom then we should deduct number of hydrogen atom only one for one nitrogen remove one for two nitrogen remove two so this will be c5 h4 4 so the formula is c into 2 plus 2 
minus H divided by 2. So, number of carbon atom how much student? Number of carbon atoms are 5. And number of hydrogen atoms are now 4. Don't write 5 because there is one nitrogen. We already subtracted one hydrogen. Okay. So, this will come 8 by 2 is equal to 4. The sites of unsaturation in this compound is 4. Okay. So, in this way, we have easily calculated the sites of unsaturation. Uh, so, let's take a quick recap. If there is oxygen, there is no change in the sites of unsaturation and we have to use the formula C into 2 plus 2 minus H divided by 2. Okay. If there is any halogen, then we should consider one halogen is equal to one hydrogen. And if there is nitrogen, then we need to remove the one hydrogen atom from that particular compound. So, in this way, we can easily calculate sites of unsaturation from given compound. I hope you learned something out of this and if you have learned, then please don't hesitate to like this video. Comment if you like. Comment. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. See you in the next tutorial of Easy Tutorial by Sachin Burade. Thank you.